Oh. Okay, just how is overall summer for you? Just being, going through the off season, working out, getting better. Getting better. Um, I would say this has been a, a successful summer uh, off season for me, being like my first real off season. Um, you know, I was a rookie, and then um, Cleveland. So uh, yeah, this is my first really uh, off season to work and um, really push myself. And I'll say it was a good one for sure. How much are you looking forward to playing with the new guys that came out of the new season? I'm excited. Um, you know, we're all young, we're all fast, and we all can uh, push the pace. You know, I think that's our new way of playing, um, high tempo, really fast. And uh, we're all young, so we all kind of organically have chemistry together. So, can, can I have a breath of fresh air? Is this organization for you? Yeah, um, this uh, organization, you know, saved my life potentially. So, definitely a big fresh, uh, fresh air. And um, I just love being here, and uh, I want to be here for a while. So, why do you say you saved your life? Um, I needed a new scenery where I was at, and um, they picked me up uh, when I was down. So. Did you get a chance to work with any veteran point guard since you are learning that position still? Uh, yeah, uh, John, um, Dante Exum, um, DJ Augustine. Um, and I have like a lot of, you know, point guards on other teams that give me advice, like James Harden, you know, Kyrie. It's a lot of, there's a lot of guys um, I got advice from and um, that I'm learning from. And um, even, you know, guarding him uh, last year, there's times where I learned a lot, you know, just the irritation and the manipulation of, uh, of the game, like CP, um, him, him always talking and communicating, um, being disruptive with that and um, just taking that and trying to basically do it myself. Um, so, yeah, a lot of learning, a lot of learning. Talk about this team picking you up when you were down. How about, what about the time that you've been here, the investment they have in you? How much has that meant to you? And how much has they done for you? Yeah, um, and that's another thing. Um, they didn't just, you know, pick me up and uh, just toss me anywhere. They, they um, gave me love and uh, gave me confidence in myself and motivated my motivation to, you know, make, make myself a better player and in person. And um, they invested a lot in me. A lot of me, and um, I try to give them all every day to repay them in some way. So, hey Kevin, hey, how do you like the praise that you've been getting from NBA players, including like your trainer Chris Brickley? They've been giving you a lot of praise about your game stuff. Um, yeah, Chris Brickley, like he's another person that you know was a big part of um, my work ethic and uh, how good I am or how good I can be. And um, Chris, like, blood can make us any closer. Like, he wants the best for me, so he pushes me to the limits. And um, I adore him for that because I need that in my life. And, um, you know, being young and getting uh, the respect from the players is, um, is an honor because, like, these are players that you looked up to, that you've been watching since I was, what, six, seven years old. So being able to even give any feedback, let alone it be good feedback off of your game, it's a blessing. So, How is your on-court approach and mindset kind of changed going from the shooting guard position to the point guard position? Um, honestly, like I never seen myself as a, you know, as a shooting guard or a point guard. I always see myself as a combo guard uh, before I got here because um, I've always been able to play make and uh, my passing was always, to me, was one of the best things I can do. But um, a lot of people didn't see that because I wasn't able to play make a lot where I was at. So um, I feel like, you know, coming here, it, it showed them um, that playmaking side. And it got everyone questioning, like, oh, he might be a point guard. But, like, you know, I played point guard in high school, middle school. So, um, yeah, I've always been confident uh, at that kind of point guard spot and I always had that mindset. You talk about you talk about this organization being a breath of fresh air for you. How much did Coach Silas play in it and how much did you talk to him in the offseason? Yeah, um 
so Coach Silas, like, he took me under his wing. Um, and, like, we talked a lot, a lot, a lot. And uh, it's not a, even about basketball all the time. You know, it's about food, <laughs> you know, the beach, just regular, you know, everyday uh, conversations. And um, that means the most to me because, like, you know, sometimes I don't want to think about basketball, you know. Like a ritual for me on game days, don't think, don't see or touch a ball until you get to the gym. So like just to balance, you know, everything out and um, not over, be over eager when, when it's game time because that's when I play the worst. When I'm thinking about the game every day or I'm um, all night, can't go to sleep, waiting to play, too anxious, too eager, that's when I play my worst. So I try to balance it, but like conversations like that is what helped me, you know, and he's here always 24 seven. So I know um, I have him one phone call away. Yeah, on the same lines, um, how much of a help has John Lucas been to you since you've been here? He's basically, he's basically been um, the same kind of with uh, as Silas, but more, um, more engaged. Like he's, he's there more like physically, and uh, his presence is felt way more, of course. Um, can anybody can say that about John Lucas? Uh, he's a unique, unique guy, you know, can't do nothing but love him. But, you know, he's going to make it here because he wants the best for you. He's going to push you and push you and push you. So I love John Lucas. And uh, he really has a big part of everything that's going on with me and this whole organization. Do you feel like this one? Do you feel like this organization, there's a belief in this organization in you that you didn't have in you? Um, no, I wouldn't say that, but how it all panned out, um, I feel like I have, I'm just in a better, you know, space, um, better role, and um, I'm just being used better, I would say. Um, I feel like the beliefs, they both seen I could be a, a special talent. But, you know, Houston just knew how to utilize me and, and nurture me and take care of me, basically. So. We'll take our last two on Zoom. Hey, Kevin. Um, you know, you mentioned that uh, the Rockets organization pushed you to be a better player and a better person. How do you think you've become a better player in person since joining the Rockets? Um, you know, I just changed up a lot of my um, everyday life kind of mechanics um, and tactics, just how I wake up every day and um, what I praise to myself and, and what, my, what I praise to my family, um, just how I move, just how I interact, how I interact with people, how I, you know, react when, when things hit the fan, um, knowing my worth, knowing my value. You know, all that came with just being here because, you know, I didn't know my worth or value um, where I was at before. So it helped me a lot and um, I'm continuing to grow. So, yeah. Thank you. Ali Khan, go ahead, please. Hey, Kevin, yeah, you just, you talked about how kind of this organization saved your life and you went to your relationships with John and Steven, but just in particular, what kind of structure or culture has this organization give you, given you to allow you to have a good balance between your mental health and also playing basketball? Um, mental health. Um, you know, I would say, um, you know, my upbringing is, is different. So, you know, basketball was kind of that uh, escape. So when I was in, you know, Cleveland, I couldn't really use it as an escape because that was kind of my most depression. Um, so like coming here was literally like a 180 for me. <laughs> so basketball, I can enjoy it again. You know, um, I can enjoy the weather out here. It's not cold, it's not 12 inches of snow. <laughs> So, you know, just the scenery itself was beautiful, way beautiful. Um, and you just feel the different energy uh, just being in, in Houston and uh, being a part of this family. And um, with that being said, like, I couldn't grow without this, um, this move, without me coming here. 
Um, I could, but it was going to be a big, um, a big wall versus a step. So. So you said you didn't like living that snow? No. I'm from Seattle. We get rain, but that's about it. We don't get snow. We don't get none of that. So it was a little too cold for me. (laughs) And I just came from L.A., so, you know, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, I was like, yeah, this is not me. But uh, it's all good. It was good. Wow.